Hi friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new, welcome. My name is Kathleen and in today's video, I'm going to share five simple steps on how to style your bookcases and shelves. As you see behind me, I have four different bookcases here in my family room and I'll give a quick tour of them here in a minute, but I know it can be quite overwhelming when it comes to styling shelves. So I thought I would break it down into simple steps that would make it easy to style them. These are ideas that I keep in mind whenever I'm styling my shelves. It just helps out so much to keep my shelves from looking cluttered and just helps it look pulled together and makes my decor look more high end. So I hope you find this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you do. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button. I do all kinds of lifestyle videos primarily related to the home from cleaning to decorating to home projects. I also do some lifestyle videos related to fashion and the occasional day in the life video that kind of thing. So if any of that interests you, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. And without further delay, let's get started. Before we begin, I just wanna give a quick history of the bookcases here in our family room for anyone who is new to my channel watching this video today. And for those who do follow my channel, I apologize because I know you have already heard all of this. But as you can see, our family room is a two-story family room. And while I love that, I also kind of feel like it, it makes the room a little bit too formal. So one day recently, I had this vision of bookcases on that back wall and I just felt like it would really help to minimize that wall height and help the room to look a little more inviting and cozy. And so we decided to purchase some Ikea bookcases, specifically the Billy bookcases. And for anyone who's interested, they're highly affordable if that's something you're considering. Um, but we thought we would place them on that wall to, to give us the look of a built-in, see how we felt about it. And possibly down the road, we may plan to actually build these in. My husband's very handy and he would have no problem building these in and, and maybe even putting a built-in window seat in between the bookcases. I think that would be such a nice look. But I have to say I am really happy with having these bookcases on this wall. I feel like it definitely has a, has achieved the purpose that I was you know, set out for, which was to make this room feel more cozy. And one thing we did add to the bookcases though, to make them feel a little more built in was we added doors. As you see to the outer bookcase units, the middle bookcase units, we need doors. We have yet to purchase doors for those units because every time we check our local Ikea, they are out of those doors. So eventually those middle bookcases will have doors, but for now this is how it looks. But I have just been having so much fun decorating these and I just love this new addition. Tip number one is to choose a color palette. Now, I always like to go with a main overall color and then I'll add maybe one or two accent colors to that look. So as you can see with my decor, I have a very neutral color palette, a lot of whites and creams, but I do have two alternate pops of color with the gold metallic and then the pops of black. And adding any kind of metallic accent to your decor can really give it a more sophisticated look. And then I feel like adding the more extreme black contrast to the white really helps to add some visual interest to the decor. And you'll probably hear a lot of that term in today's video, so please forgive me ahead of time. I more than likely will be using that term visual interest more than once. Tip number two is to maintain balance and symmetry. And I feel like this is the most important tip that I could give. If there was any advice that you should take away from today's video, I would say it's this one. And let's first talk about balance. So what I mean by balance is, if you look at my bookcases, the bookshelves are not all the same size. So you have the bottom shelf and the middle shelf are much larger than the space um, on the upper shelf. So you wanna keep that in mind when you're adding your decor to those shelves. So for the bottom shelf, which is the largest shelf, actually I think the, the middle shelf is just as large, but for both of those shelves, I wanna put larger items. Even if it's just one large sculptural decor piece, that can speak for itself and just make a statement all on its own. What you don't want to do is put a lot of really tiny knickknack type items in one large square cube. It just looks like an empty 
empty box really. So you want to keep that in mind. Keep, keep in mind the size of your decor pieces in relation to the space of the shelf. Also keep in mind symmetry and I feel like balance and symmetry go hand in hand. And what I mean by symmetry, if you look at my bookcases, for example, on the two outer cases, they pretty much mirror one another. I have the same baskets on the lower shelf, the same kind of decor item on the top shelf, and I feel like those outer bookcases act as anchors, and it just really helps to be more appealing to the eye. And I keep this symmetry idea in mind whenever I'm decorating any of my shelves. So if I do something to the left shelf, I try to mimic a similar height of items on the right shelf, if that makes sense. Tip number three is to decorate using artwork and books. Now, before I do any decorating whatsoever, I always like to shop my home and just gather all the decor items, put them out on the table. That way I can better visualize what items I want to piece together and also helps me to decide what my color palette should be. So I forgot to mention that, but definitely do that before you do any decorating. And I love adding artwork to bookcases because it can really add so much personality to the bookcase, especially if you have a taller bookcase, like I mentioned my lower and middle bookcase here. That's a great place to fill with artwork. And sometimes you can simply just put a piece of artwork and that's all you need on the shelf. Or maybe you want to put a piece of artwork and a small accent piece to the shelf. It also allows you to express your design creativity. Moving on to books. And I love using books in my shelf decor. Not only is it functional because you know you can easily access the book, but also you can stack books and use them as risers for other decor, put a decorative piece on top of the stack books or you can alternate whether you stack the books vertically or you can have them stacked horizontally just kind of adds visual interest to your shelves tip number four is to add texture and what i mean is to add different or use different materials in your decor for example in my decor i have some smooth materials such as the glass or ceramic but i also have some more natural elements such as the stone like vases the natural rattan material in the baskets and i feel like it just adds more textural interest and also i feel like it gives your decor a little more of a high-end look Finally, tip number five is functionality. Now, decor does not have to be just pretty, just something to look at. It can also be something that is functional. It serves a purpose, it's useful. A perfect way to do this is to decorate using baskets. I love, love decorating with baskets. Not only are they pretty to look at, but they're very functional. I use the ones I have here in my family room to disguise the remote control, maybe some magazines, a candle lighter, just anything that I want accessible, but out of sight. But you don't have to use just baskets. You can also use decorative containers. I love shopping home goods for containers. They have all kinds of beautiful, different shapes, sized containers. And I love the look of stacking containers. For example, I have two rectangular shaped boxes that I got I think last year from Target and I love the look of them stacked. It's just, it just looks so high end and just is more visually pleasing. Plus again, serves that functional purpose. That is it for my styling tips. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did and leave a comment down below. Let me know what tip that you found most useful or if you have tips of your own that you'd like to share, definitely let me know. I love hearing from you guys and I love and appreciate you so very much. But I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for my next video and I will see you then. Take care.